What's up, PogChamp Crustaceans? Splatoon 3's upcoming chocolate Splatfest has a dirty secret. But before I get into that, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and vote on my most recent poll in the community tab. Plus, if you want to vote on any other polls I post in the future, make sure to hit the notification bell. So this morning I launched Splatoon 3, planning on playing some ranked battles. Well, I mean, unless it was Clam Blitz, am I right? When I noticed some out of the ordinary posts in the square, it wasn't the normal, probably stolen, Hot Marina fan art, it was more along the lines of... Good afternoon, sir. Could we interest you in some chocolate? Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir! With or without nuts? Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 So of course I had to do some research to see what I missed. Turns out the next Splatfest had been announced by Nintendo. Dark Chocolate vs Milk Chocolate vs White Chocolate. Which of course has spawned some interesting posts. Like this. I don't know if anyone finds that offensive and frankly I don't care. But there are some other posts I've seen that are along the lines of The Milk Chocolate No Memo now, in Splatoon, this is actually a valid question because the lore of this game is that all mammals, including humans, went extinct due to rising sea levels and the ocean life evolved to live on land. I'm not personally a fan of the explanation they give in Splatoon 3 about how they actually evolved, but I'm not going to get into that. Basically, they ate glass. You can see what this guy is getting at, right? No mammals equals no milk, which equals no chocolate. Some people are suggesting that it's coconut milk or some other plant substitute. I don't know if it's even possible to make milk chocolate out of coconut milk, but this idea does have some merit. The Inklings and Octolings are canonically omnivores that have massive greenhouses like Kelp Dome, for example. I'm sure they could figure out how to make milk-free chocolate. However, this idea isn't... fun enough. Something was nagging at the back of my mind. Whales. Whales are mammals. Inklings could get milk from whales. Of course, there's the Moby Knit Sweater in Splatoon 3 and the Whale Knit Sweater in Splatoon 2, which both feature whales, but those aren't proof. Whales could be extinct in Splatoon, for all we know. After all, there are millions of dinosaur t-shirts in real life. I'm willing to put money on it that if you walk into a Walmart right now and go to the boys' clothing aisle, you will find a dinosaur t-shirt. No, I needed something more. I still had that nagging feeling in my skull. I could swear that I read something about a whale in a news broadcast from Off the Hook in Splatoon 2. Marina's neighbor or something. I went to Inkopedia and read through every single line of dialogue for every single stage in Splatoon 2 and found... Nothing. Well, nothing except for this, anyway. Yo, it's Pearl from Off the Hook. I think it's gonna come down to who uses the sponges best. Uses the sponges, but one of my best friends is a sea sponge. Marina, hit us with the trick to using sponges effectively. I like to build up a good lather, then scrub like crazy. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Marina has an <clears throat> interesting relationship with her sponge friend. I found this as well. So, port. That's just a fancy name for sausage, right? Pearl, I think you're thinking of pork. Pork is made from pigs. Pigs are mammals. Mammals have milk. Pig milk chocolate! Um, possibly. This could have just been a joke. After all, Pearl and Marina break the fourth wall in several of their dialogue options. I still hadn't found what I was looking for, so I mustered all the patience I could and began reading the dialogue from Splatoon 1, hoping I had misremembered which game I had read about the whale from. Midway through, and again, nothing. Except for this. Yo, it's Callie now. I heard they grow veggies in Kelp Dome. Ugh, veggies. I'd rather eat a splatter shot. Oh. <laughs> Eat my splatter shot. Apparently not all inklings are omnivores, like I said earlier. I'm still correct biologically speaking, though. Suddenly, I remembered something. In Splatoon 2, there was a unicorn versus narwhal splatfest. 
I already knew about said Splatfest, but I had forgotten about all the unique dialogue that comes with it. I hurried over to the Splatfest page as fast as I could, and that's where I finally found it. Which creature is more majestic, the unicorn or the narwhal? Uh, what team are you gonna pick, Pearl? Team Unicorn, baby. Unicorns are the most powerful beings in existence. Well, yeah, except for the fact that they aren't real. Yeah, well, neither are narwhals. Uh, narwhals are totally real. <laughs> what? You think narwhals are real? Like, they're just whales with magical horns poking out of their heads? <laughs> Y'all hearing this right now? No, seriously, my landlord is a narwhal. I talked to him yesterday when I dropped off my rent check. We got to talking about his horn and it turns out it's actually a giant tooth. He said he brushes it with a toothbrush three times a day. So hot. Uh so narwhals have a giant face tooth and you think it's hot? You're really committed to this fake narwhal thing. Narwhals are real. How do you not know this? Yeah, okay, Marina. Have fun with your fake whale. If you need me, I'll be flying on my unicorn through a million rainbows. I need to find a new job. Huh. I guess I was wrong. It wasn't her neighbor, it was her landlord! There you have it. Whales are not extinct in the Splatoon universe. The only mammals left on the planet, therefore perfect candidates to make chocolate from their milk. I don't even want to bring up how they're anthropomorphic, but then the clickbait title wouldn't make sense. And by far the worst part is that whale milk is the consistency of cottage cheese. Inklings are sick creatures. I'm not even going to mention their cannibalistic tendencies. Ugh, the salt spray here really gets in my eyes. You know, salted squid is a delicacy in some places. A delicacy. Yeah. Huh. I'd watch out, Marigold. You're serving food now, but soon... You'll be served! If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to comment what you'd like me to expose about your favorite video games. And lastly, make sure to vote on my most recent poll before I take it down. Ring the bell to be notified whenever I post any new limited time polls in the future. Stay pogalicious or something.